Welcome back to How to Cake It. I'm Yolanda, and this week I'm gonna cake you around the world. Actually, we're just going to Cairo, but you can go around the world in the Gummy Drop game. Thank you to Gummy Drop developers Big Fish Games for sponsoring and collaborating on this video with me. By taking part in their great gummy bake off, you could win a Samsung Galaxy S2 tablet. All you need to do is download the Gummy Drop game, the link is in the description below, and get baking. If you've been watching me, you ought to know how to do that. For full details on the contest and how you can win, make sure to check the description. Let's get started on my gummy bake. This gummy pyramid is big. I started with 32 pounds of my ultimate vanilla cake batter, dyed it six glorious candy colors, and divided it between 12 square cake pans. I removed all 12 of my cakes from their pans, level them, and cut off the caramelization from the bottom, leaving me with 12 colorful layers of cake that are all one inch high. For details on exactly what pans I used, what colors I used, and how I divided my batter, check the description below. Sir Squeeze-A-Lot has a job to do. He's got a lot of simple syrup to shower on these cakes. Is he up for it? He's always up for it. Oh yeah, he's the man. For this cake, I'm gonna need eight pounds of chocolate ganache, and I actually upped the chocolate ratio in the ganache because I need this cake to be very sturdy. I don't wanna use boards in the middle. Oh no, I have another plan for the middle. Before I continue to stack my cake, I need to create the secret chamber that will house the gold. Oh my god! That was your stomach? I yeah. thought it was a motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fill this cake with gold chocolate coins and I wanna stack them inside the cake just like a pyramid. In my two 10 inch square purple cakes, I'm gonna cut an inside square that measures four and a quarter inches. In my two eight inch pink cakes, I'm gonna carve an inside square that is two and three quarter inches. In my two six inch orange cakes, I'm gonna carve an inside square that is one and three eighths of an inch. It's time to add the purple layers to my cake, but I want the surface of the blue cake where the coins are gonna lay to remain ganache free. So I'm just gonna ice around that inner square using a template to help me keep my cake clean. Now I lay on my first purple layer, being very careful how I handle it because it's much more delicate with a hole in it. Now time for more ganache on top and the next purple layer. It's finally time to add my gold chocolate coins, but I just wanna clean up any ganache in the center of my square holes. Square holes? <laughs> <laughs> I quit. Don't quit, yo, don't quit. I need help with words. I'm getting really excited about this. I lined up all my coins perfectly face up. I do that in my wallet too, by the way. I can't stand when bills face the wrong direction. We're, we're, we're not gonna get into this. <clears throat> Back to caking. It's time for more cake layers, so I'm gonna spread ganache and add my two pink cake layers. And of course, more gold coins, this time in two rows of two. But still all facing up. Now we're approaching the top layer of the chamber. I want this to be like really serious. <laughs> I don't know if that's possible yet. Too many candy colors. <laughs> I add my two orange layers of cake, sandwich with ganache, and fill the tiny chamber with one stack of coins, all facing up. The secret chamber is now filled with gold. I'm finally gonna add my two adorable, yeah, they're adorable, little four inch red cake layers, sandwiched with ganache. The reason I stack the coins this way is so that the cake doesn't collapse. They're nice and condensed, they're all face up, and this cake is going nowhere. Now I need to cut away the angles of this cake on all four sides. Guys, there's gonna be a lot of cake scraps. I find the exact center of the top of my little red cake and make a mark. Then I take a ruler and I line it up from the top center mark to the outer edge of the bottom cake and I take a sharp knife and just make a mark into my cake. I do this on the two opposite sides of the cake first and then use a strong, large serrated knife to cut the two angles. It's like a colorful avalanche. I repeat this whole process on the remaining two sides of the cake. And now I'm left with the most gorgeous, colorful pyramid. 
I want to travel there right now. I now need to crumb coat this cake in a thin layer of chocolate ganache and put it in the fridge to chill for 10 minutes. This cake is easily about 35 pounds, at least. It takes two people to lift it. I don't have that, so I used my cart, but I really could have used that helping hand. And I can use your helping hand. This is getting very oopsie. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to play It Takes Two. If every one of you out there who is subscribed asked just one person to subscribe, we'd hit two million before my birthday in July. Tag someone you know who isn't subscribed in the comments below, get them to subscribe to How To Cake It, and you'll have the chance to win two matching Cake Me Around The World tees. You can wear them and go around the world and eat cake. That is swanky. <laughs> Swanky. It's swanky. I is feel swanky like a word? Swanky is definitely a word. Now that my pyramid cake is chilled, I need to cover it in gummy candies. It's getting even better. To add these gummies to my cake, I'm going to use my chocolate ganache as glue, but ganache sets up really quickly, so you need to ice it bit by bit as you add your gummies. You wanna be careful not to use too much ganache to glue your gummies down so that it doesn't smush out between all of the gummies. Get adding. See you in three hours. My Cake It to the Minute contest is now over, but I'm still putting up my time-lapse videos on my Facebook. The handle is below, and you will see for yourself how long this took. Green, blue, purple, pink, orange, red. Then, green, blue, purple, pink, orange, red. Then, green, blue, purple, pink, orange, red. Then, green, bro, Green, you, you get it. Not only did my cake end in red cake layers, my gummies ended with a red gummy. And I had no way of knowing until I built the whole pyramid. I probably did mathematically, but for me, I had no way of knowing. I wanna add a purple gummy guy to the top of my pyramid. I'm gonna let him take the credit for building it. I mean, he's wearing a construction hat. To create purple gummy guy, I made myself a template, cut him out of gum paste, and let him dry completely. To make his little construction hat, I rolled out some yellow fondant and glued it onto his head with a little bit of water. Now he's just gummy guy. I have to make him purple gummy guy. So I painted him with a little bit of purple food coloring diluted with rum. Once purple gummy guy is all dry, I add him to the top of the paper. He looks good there. Yeah. Oh, and then I put some gummies in his hand. Because every time I Googled him, he was like, I have gummies! <laughs> Literally, this is his pose. He's like, oh, he doesn't have a smile though. He has no face. I don't know how to act that out. <laughs> He's just like, a treasure hunter and gummy guy was just like I can't help you I mean why does he wear a construction hat I finally get to the treasure and enjoy some colorful cake with chocolate ganache and gold coins I had no idea that Egyptian pyramids were filled with Canadian loonies it seems like a long way to travel for that Dollar. with the dollar I mean it's literally worthless. <laughs> Sorry, Canada. Canadians better not get mad at this. Don't forget to take part in the Great Gummy Bake Off. You can bake anything inspired by the game. So don't forget to download Gummy Drop, link in the description, and have fun. And get that purple gummy guy to help you. And thank you again to the Gummy Drop developers, Big Fish Games, for sponsoring and collaborating on this video. I'm going to Tokyo. I do this a lot. That's where this plane is going right now. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Remember, it takes two. You could win this t-shirt. I'll see you next week on How to Cake It. Perfect, okay. I'll see you next week.